Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I'm gonna bring you kind of a spur of the moment of bag talk. I, last night, um, decided to go to a concert last minute, which is totally not like me these days. It would have been like, more like me in the past, but I made it happen. And, you know, nowadays because of coming off of COVID and also a lot of public shootings, um, they, either require, concerts are requiring, at least in my area, that you either carry a clear bag or a, a small bag, uh, like so small, like, um, sorry, they call them wristlets. So other things are not allowed as much as I would have liked to have taken any number of the bags that I have, because I have a lot of small crossbody bags that I think work perfect for concerts and similar events. Um, I didn't have anything that was gonna be considered wristlet size. And so I thought about it and I pulled this guy out. Um, not officially rehabbed in any way, but she wasn't terrible. He, she, I said guy at first too. I think this is a guy or girl, I don't know. But um, yeah, this bottle green um, envelope swing wallet, style number 4873. And I, became obsessed and now this is gonna be my bag. <laughs> I'm not going to rehab it to resell. Uh, it's mine now. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about it. One of the, well here I'll show you, it has detachable straps. Um, I'll put it around later, cute little hang tag. When I looked to see what else was for sale online regarding these, I will say there's quite a bit to choose from, varying in price range, lots of different colors. It's just, I guess it's not on people's radar. And most of them had their hang tags, believe it or not. And I think the hang tag looks really cute on this thing. But if you take the strap off, well, I'll show you, I'll show you that later here. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. But the reason I was like, this is the best was because my phone can fit in it. This is my phone case, not my phone. Um, but my phone could fit in it. And yeah, I was able to carry some cash, some credit cards, an ID, and then my um, keys to my car. And I just thought that was perfect. Interestingly, this has that Sonoma lining, um, that you, or the lining that you see in the Sonoma line. This is not a Sonoma bag though. And it also does not have like the Sonoma zipper pull, but they did use the same lining, which you will see in other vintage coach items. That uh, lining was not just for Sonoma. It's just that you'll see Sonoma. Oh, let me take my cash out. Um, we have this little zipper pocket. And something I realized, I see this on a lot of different um, SLGs, it's this removable key ring. So it buttons in. Guys, this was amazing. This was really, I used this, this was genius. Okay, I'm normally a key fob person. This wallet was not quite big enough for me to carry the items I wanted to carry. I needed a chapstick as well. My phone and my key fob. And so I took my key out of my key fob and I put this on here and snapped it in, which helped to assure that it was gonna be secured because what I was worried about, I throw a key in there. Um, what if I'm fumbling around and you know, like I pull something out and that key falls out and I don't notice it? That was something I was nervous about. So I really like the added security um, of that. Yeah, I, yeah, I was just, this was awesome. Everything is on the inside. There's no pocket on the outside. You see the seam, it's just a seam. It's not a pocket. And I was, I'm impressed. So in my collection, it goes, Lots to choose from, 4873 envelope swing wallet. And if you notice, before I put this on, I'm gonna to talk to, to you a little, little, I'm gonna to talk to you about this bag. This is something that I have always been quite impressed with. Um, and yeah, I'll, we'll talk about why. So this has a very similar name. It is a 4843, style number 4843, swing wallet. So envelope swing wallet, swing wallet, very different. I'm wearing this a little shorter than what the strap is, and I will go over that. But um, this to me is a really, un really understated but wonderful travel piece. I don't do this as much anymore, or at all. I used to travel a lot, I used to travel by myself, and I used to travel to places that weren't maybe necessarily the best. You wanna look a little inconspicuous, you want to not be flashy, and you want to hold your important items close to you, okay? And this wallet, swing wallet, purse, whatever you wanna call it, 
will do such. So this is the kind of bag that I would have. I wasn't into vintage coach at the time, but that I would either put under my shirt, so I could wear this under the shirt or another shirt, to have it like close to my body and it would hold a passport, um, IDs, credit cards, emergency money. It would hold things that I didn't want to just be able to be easily snatched or if I wasn't paying attention, pickpocketed. So the reason this makes such a great bag for the such is because it's very small, it's flat, it has a strap so you can cross it um, around your body and yeah, hold it close to you. So I've shortened it here. I'm gonna show you how long it is otherwise and I'm gonna show you how I've shortened it. Similar to what I do with other types of tubular straps, because I do not like tying knots and um, strings if that's your th or um, in straps. If that's your thing, whatever. I don't like it. I don't like it like digs into my shoulder. I don't like that, so I don't do that. But all I did was I crossed it, right? I crossed it underneath, and I shortened it so that it was the length that I would prefer, because I would prefer this particular thing to be closer to my stomach. Okay, but let's see how long it is without doing that. And you can see, you'll find a lot of these for sale too. Um, they're out there and they're, they're very affordable prices. Okay, so it's backwards right now. Let's fix that. Um, it's backwards after I undid that. <laughs> but you see how long that strap is? That strap is really long. And maybe that's your thing, but also maybe you have really long torso and you need it to be. So, still a really great wallet, even if you weren't use, needing to wear it um, for uh, safety reasons or to try to be as inconspicuous as possible. Just this bag in itself is great. It does not carry your phone, though. It's not going to carry your phone. But um, there's this little back pocket back here that I will also just shove the strap in um, when I'm storing it. And, yeah, it opens up like this. You do have a zipper pocket for coins or anything else that you want to keep secured. This pocket is actually leather lined. That soft, lovely, silky leather. I swear it's calfskin leather. So this leather is a little, I mean, it's it's nice and soft, but when I talk about some of the SLGs that have that like soft, silky leather, um, it's different. It's different than what this feels like. This is nice, but that is, other stuff is amazing. And actually the pocket's lined in it. So weird, isn't that interesting? But it is soft, nice. Um, does this have a maiden? Some of these, depending on when they were made, might have a maiden. This is also has that leather lining there. Oh, my hair is crazy. But you've got a pocket here, you got a pocket here, you got some card slots here. Um, yeah, plenty of room, like a um, passport would fit in this nicely plenty of room to hide some essential items um, that you want to carry on yourself. And this is the kind of thing that I might also wear to a concert if I was wearing jeans or some sort of pant that I could stick my, my phone in. Because the phone is a necessity these days, right? We all carry it. Um, and I was wearing a dress last night, so I did not, I had pockets in my dress, but I didn't want to put my phone in my dress pocket. So this came in huge. I mean, it was just, it was awesome. It worked really well, really well. There's another bag that I have that's not so much a vintage. Um, it's older, but it's not vintage. It was, it was a coach. It was a find that I liked. It's a smaller bag, but it also doesn't carry my wallet. I'll probably go over that. I'm gonna show you a couple of little items that I might have that are not vintage that I also am a huge fan of um, eventually, but not today. So didn't get to carry it because I needed something to carry my phone. So yeah, swing wallet, 4843. Strap is not detachable, but I showed you a way that you can shorten it if you wanted to, right? All right, let's see. Oh, here's a catalog photo of um, the Swing Wallet, 4843 Swing Wallet. And it, actually a cute little photo. Um, I'm also gonna show you this. I don't have this particular wallet in hand. It's a classic Swing Wallet, 4875. And it is made of water buffalo calfskin. If I had it, maybe I could compare it to this leather that I find lining a lot of SLGs, vintage Coach SLGs to see, is it the same? Because that's what I think the leather feels like, um, that luxuri luxurious leather lining that I see in some things. That's what I think it feels like, like casket or water buffalo, maybe combination. But apparently this particular classic sewing wallet was made of water buffalo calfskin. It has, you can't appreciate it in the photo, but it has belt loops on the back and it has a detachable strap 
This thing looks so cute. I would love to find one, but keep your eyes open because um, it falls kind of in line with these two bags that I'm talking about. Um, and so I wanted to show you, it's on my radar. I don't usually show people what's on my radar, but I guess I'm gonna show you this one. So cute. Okay, so let's uh, put this guy on. So the strap is really long, guys, really long. And this is how I wore it last night. It just, it was okay for the dress that I had on. This is what I did. I did detach the strap at one point when I was going through the line and just held it in my hand, used it as a clutch because it can be also used as a clutch. But I'm gonna show you something, um, a way of shortening it a little bit if you wanted to use it more um, securely, right? So it wasn't just swinging around. And very similar to what we do now. So aside from having a cobbler shorten something for you, um, I like the versatility. <laughs> what I do uh, is I just, I wrap that around. And you can just play with it because there's a couple of combinations that you can do. Um, sorry. Wrap this one around and you don't have to tighten it or anything initially. Oops. Sorry. I guess I didn't even have to detach it, but snap it shut again, pull it tight this way, and you have a little shorter shoulder bag. I wouldn't wear it this cross body. No. Um, so I have the shorter shoulder bag, and if I was really just trying to be inconspicuous, to not look like I was carrying a bag, um, or not look like I was obviously carrying a bag, then I could just throw it under a jacket over it, um, throw something over it. And so I have this bag that's going to be able to hold a phone and other essential items. And I have it close to my body and I feel good about it because it's that vintage coach leather and it has this pop of green and it's cute and yes, love it. So that's what I got. All right. So there you have it. Vintage Coach 4873 Envelope Swing Wallet in Bottle Green, and then this cute little British Tan 4843 Swing Wallet. Don't forget, there's this classic swing wallet that I showed you, 4875, that is just adorable and probably should be on your radar too. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach bag talk so that you don't miss them when I put them out. And if you would like to, I have a new Facebook group called Vintage Coach Eye Candy. I would love for you to join. You can peruse pictures that people post. There's collectors, there's newbies in there. But um, I hope that what this group provides is just this visual eye candy of Vintage Coach and then some information to boot. That's the goal of it. So yeah, come on over, post if you'd like, just peruse if you want, whatever. But I'd love for you if you would join. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.